Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. My name is Spade and the name of the game, look at me go, is Honeybee, episode number 6. Where do the bees sleep? And I don't really have any kind of special setup for this mission, just the standard one. Primary weapon is the tranquilizer gun. Got my good old horse with me, which is actually useful for a couple of reasons. One of which is riding. I'm gonna have to let you guys figure out the other one. But anywho, we're going in during night time. We have arrived and our mission objective is to locate the portable missile launcher, Honeybee. Which is about two kilometers away, so we got quite some way to go. And uh, before we get to the Smazilaman fort, um, we're gonna take a little stop at the mountain relay base. Because that is where there is a prisoner, the Hamid survivor. And if we capture him and extract him, he's gonna tell us the exact location of the honeybee. Not that it really matters, because I know where it is anyways, but you do get a fat bonus out of uh, extracting him alive. And there's, a, yeah, there's an outpost over there, so we'll just go around it. But yeah, it's pretty easy to get that prisoner, so might as well. He's on the way. We need to go around that mountain relay base anyways, so might as well get him. Pretty easy task to, to do so. So that is where I'm heading, and I'm getting stuck behind the rocks. As usual, what else is new? Uh, anyways, I, for this mission, I specifically chose night time because of the enemy positions, their locations. I think this mission is slightly more difficult during daytime. And I'll show you as we get to the mountain relay base, which is right around this corner, if I'm not getting stuck between any rocks anymore. So here we are. The mountain relay base. And this right here is a little shortcut, I guess, which I usually like to take. And because I take it so often, the enemy has started placing some mines. So definitely need to look out for that. And during daytime, there's usually like a sniper. I don't think that guy... Yeah, he's got a regular rifle on his back. But there's usually a sniper over there. And if I go from here, the sniper usually spots me. And then there's also a guard like down here. But during nighttime, there's nobody here. So that's why I'm choosing nighttime. It's easier to sneak past here on this mountain relay base. But yep, there's a crack on the wall which we can use to climb. So we're gonna get up from here. And then there's a little under the bridge section. So I can just draw myself from there. And then, let's stop for a moment, have a little look. That is... Oh, they're torturing him. Questioning him right now. The attention to detail in this game is... is a astonishing. You know, seeing these guards actually, you know, question and punish the survivor, you know, makes you put your mind and ooh. Thoughts into this game and the themes that it's trying to convey to you. Although otherwise, you know, there's lots of themes in this game, but they're kind of thorough. Like, apparently, you know, I, I talked about it in the episode zero, how, you know, unfinished this game is story-wise. And uh, I don't think a lot of the themes came across as many expected in the first place. Because apparently there was no time to, you know, really finish the story, unfortunately. But gameplay-wise, I, I still really enjoy the heck out of this game, so... Again, it is what it is, and I'm not gonna ramble about it anymore. But let me call my horse over here. Come on, horse. Get over. You know, you teleported over there. 
right here. So the prisoner is over there. And we got a good spot over here. So we're gonna play some mines on the road in form of horse poop. I, I do really enjoy this mechanic, although first I found it quite disgusting. And I guess this is just the kind of thing that you would expect from a Hideo Kojima game. They had to implement horse pooping. But it is actually useful for something. They work like mines. Silent mines. Free mines. All you need to do is uh, get the horse. No need for like ATB mines or even those. Those wouldn't be any good for this mission. We don't want to blow up the prisoner, but those, what, what are the EMP mines or whatever they are, the electric ones. And I believe we're right on schedule. Yep. The driver is uh, getting his seat and he's about to head this way. Now, one way that I did this, one of the second times I was uh, just starting to experiment with this mission, is I went over there where the prisoner was questioned. And once they put him on board, I just uh, threw in smoke grenades and I hijacked a vehicle and I got out of there without making an alert. I don't know how I did it, but I only managed to pull it off once. So I really wish I had recorded that, but I didn't. But anywho, the dirty deed is about to be done. So let's wait and see. <laughs> ah, this this never gets old. So let me just extract the whole vehicle. But the horse poop actually stuns them for long enough for me to extract the entire vehicle. Yeah, don't want to alert those guys, so might as well get the whole package along the prisoner. So let's just. Uh, Oops. Okay, let's not go from there. Let's go from here. Well, there we go. Got the exact location of the honeybee now. And there's another outpost over there. Oh. Yeah. We'll jump it, jump. So we'll just uh, go around it. And uh, in this area, we have to be a little bit careful because I believe there are a couple of stragglers around this area yep over there so we gotta do some wrong way snake wrong way thank goodness there we go gotta do some horse stealth action and is there anything that the horse can't do it's freaking amazing you can play some insta mines you can do horse stealth and, most importantly, it's a fast way of transportation, especially on a rough terrain like this, because we need to go around these outposts, like, all the time. The horse is just perfect for this mission, and for so many other ones. I'm gonna be using the horse a lot in this game, because it is, it is so great. So there we go. And now, right as we got past one outpost, there's another one. There we go, and he almost spotted me, but almost doesn't count. That's why I love horse stealth. You can quickly just go past enemies without them noticing you. And as I'm rambling here, we have actually arrived. That's Smase Fort. Smase Fort. Is there a guard? Yeah, there's a guard over there. I'm just gonna quickly run while he's. Well, he's climbing the tower, and there might be some mines around this area, so you gotta be careful. Because I did do this mission earlier, and I was actually recording it. I was commentating it. That's an enemy gunship. Uh, a but... Gun can cut a man in half. Let me look around. Us. Anyways, I, I, I can't find it right now. Yeah, over there. That's what I was looking at. There's a there's that box transportation point. And you know I like those delivery points. I'm trying to escape with a box. And I did it. And uh, I got thrown into a side ops mission. So I never got a rank out of this mission, even though I completed it. It just threw me into a side ops. 
and that was it. And I was disappointed. So I gotta do this again. But, yeah, I don't know if that's a glitch. Because obviously it should, like, complete the mission. But it just didn't. It threw me straight into a side ops. Which was kind of frustrating. But, whatever. This is a fun mission. And there are some diamonds on the way. And this is kind of cool, because these uh, items, like diamonds, can actually, like, mark a place where you should go, or you could go, which could be like a recommended route. Something I totally overlooked on my uh, first playthrough. And like, over here, there's some items, like processed materials, right next to a snake hole. So it's like, huh, pretty cool. Maybe I should take this route, and I will. So sometimes if you pay attention to your environment, and like these diamonds and other random items, and look at that. Hop. There we go. Just knock him out. There's probably some more guards around ho here, so... Gotta keep my own guard up. And watch out. There's a... Guy over there, but I believe there's also... A guy over here. There we go. And... Moving targets. There we go. Uh, always kind of tough. But I don't think there's any more guards here, so we should be good. Might as well reload just in case. The honeybee is right over here. You secured the target. Now you just None of those. Is this guy any good? Eh, A plus. I'm trying to go. He's actually a plus plus fighter. I could extract him like through here, but whatever. Not gonna bother this time. Usually when I play by myself, I do tend to extract all the best guys. I'm trying to get at least everybody on like a plus plus level right now. But here we are in the mist. The skulls have arrived, and we gotta get past them but it's it's an easy task and another bonus that you can get on this mission if is that if you do not use the honeybee rocket launcher at all let me get my horse around Whoop, here we go perfect no it's not time to see the honeybee i'll get some bonus points out of not doing it. And I think I got out unscathed. The miss is cleared. It looks Let like me call gone. the chopper. And bring the target back. Like back here. There we go. The chopper has been called. And on these um, skull missions, it can actually be quite useful for recruiting people because whenever skulls are around and their mist is around they stun like all the enemies so then you can just go for the easy pickings so to speak and i would really like to use that transportation point but i'm not going to do it because it's gonna get me in trouble i'm sure of it is this guy any good no, total jabroni. There's another guy over here. A++ guy. Yeah. Since we have a little bit of time before the chopper gets here, I might as well... I might as well extract this one guy. There we go. Has arrived. Yeah, I would have really liked to use that box point, but I'm not gonna take the risk of screwing over this mission again did this once with commentary and i do it again so i'm sorry if i sound a bit bored i was trying f I, i'm still excited about this game about this mission but it was still kind of an unfortunate thing that happened something that i had no idea that even could happen but apparently it's a thing if there's a random side up in the area it's gonna screw over your mission the one and only yeah! There we go. 
Codename Foxhound S rank. Secure the honeybee with its ammunition intact. So apparently there was no bonus for the prisoner. So my bad. So I guess you can totally skip him if you want, but it's a, it was an easy task to get him, so... Why not? Why not? And it's always fun to use horse poop for something useful! So there we go, that is the honeybee mission for ya. Next time we got the red brass. It's also an interesting one. I'll be using my horse again, so stay tuned for some horsing around in the next episode. Until then, this is Bade Rambling and signing out. Peace. You look well rested, big boss. My, my, how you've changed. You became a demon for such little weapons as that. Well, I'm sure you'll see the bigger picture eventually. How would you like to be my Spider-Man?